Recently, Mr. Yu Donglai released a video stating that if he were to pass away, Pang Donglai would be dissolved because he has yet to find a suitable successor. Despite organizing numerous training sessions and workshops, and even personally assisting companies like Bubugao and Yonghui Superstores, we have only seen some business owners claim they have learned and applied Pang Donglai's principles. However, there have been no widespread customer testimonials praising the students of Pang Donglai. In fact, just now I came across a video where a vlogger desperately pleaded, please protect our beacon of civilization, Pang Donglai. This makes me ponder deeply about our society, from the Sanlu milk powder scandal to the recent issues with unhygienic sanitary pads. People are calling for Xiaomi's Lei Jun to intervene while rushing to Pang Donglai for sanitary products. Pang Donglai seems to have become the only trusted source for certain goods. Why can't people emulate Pang Donglai? There is one simple reason, reluctance to let go. As Mr. Yu Donglai mentioned, many business owners are unwilling to share profits with their employees. They claim their businesses are unprofitable while squeezing their employees and simultaneously pocket the profits to buy luxury cars and villas. Consequently, numerous brick and mortar stores have closed down. This scenario is reminiscent of the Indian hunter's story of catching monkeys. The hunter places some nuts in a wooden box with holes just big enough for the monkey's hands. Once the monkeys grab the nuts, they refuse to let go and end up trapped. We see the monkeys' foolishness, but uh, aren't we humans just as foolish? Money is like sand. The tighter you grasp, the more slips through your fingers. As Buddha said, to gain something, you must first give something up. Mr. Yudonglai has set an example for us. Why are we still hesitant to follow? Next year, a new president will take office in the United States who has warned of escalating the trade war to a new level. How should we respond? We have cancelled export tax rebates, signalling that we will push domestic enterprises to stop internal competition, improve employees' living standards, and turn our country into a model of socialist superiority. This model can then be used to build a global community with a shared future for mankind. In the 1960s, our great leader wrote a poem, The Breeze Brings Thousands of Willows, and all six billion people are like Emperors Yao and Shun. To prevent our society from being enslaved by capital, he not only left us Marxist theory, but also laws such as the labor law, and even organizations for enforcement like trade unions. If we start now applying Marxism to our daily work, sharing profits with employees, and giving young people enough time and money to enjoy life, will we still worry about declining birth rates? As the old saying goes, when clothing and food are sufficient, people will consider bearing children. In 10 years, we will have enough wolves to defend our homeland. By then, we can confidently tell Mr. Yu Donglai. Rest assured, you can entrust Pang Donglai to us. Entrepreneurs, are you ready?